Hello guys. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Ooh. It's a beautiful morning, but it's raining over here. I don't know how you're doing. Are you keeping warm wherever you are? Are you enjoying your morning? I am feeling so good this morning that um I just felt like uh, like recording something for you so I hope that you're doing well. I hope that um everything is going beautiful wherever you are. And I'd, I'd like to know where you are listening in from and whether you are um <laughs> a Ritani, whether you're an OG over here. I'd like to know. I'd like to know the people that I'm interacting with. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I'm at work. I just took a moment to to just speak to you. And as usual, you know that I do have a specific topic that I'm going to be talking to you about. I just want us to I just want to catch you up. So, I'm currently enjoying reading. Um, the book that I'm reading is um, is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I know that I've taken too long with this book already, but it's a beautiful book. It's I'm learning so, so much from it. I'm learning a lot, a lot, a lot, and I am enjoying it. Um, I'm in a season where I have decided to learn uh, the best way to to grow is to learn and if you are to master something you need to learn because that's the only way how so i am learning whatever i need to learn to be able to to live the life that i want and um i'm currently uh watching a series that is called permission to live on netflix it's amazing. It's a very beautiful series. Oh my god. It's so full of um it's a roller coaster of things going on in that in that series. There's um the kingpin who's a drug trafficker. Um in the beginning, season one, he's he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and he's he, he kinda panicked and was like he wants to hand over his business to his kids, but none of his kids can step up. It's a lot. It's a roller coaster of things. Um, he has a step uh, a step daughter, not a step daughter, a daughter from his previous uh, love, and her name is Laura. Lara. I like her. I like her a lot. A lot. A lot. She's she's fierce. She's beautiful. She's innocent. She's all that. And Lara falls in love with uh, the kingpin's adopted son. His name is Mario. He's a lot, a whole package of toxicity. Hmm? Tell me how Mario decides. Oh my God, let me start from the beginning. <sighs> so, uh, the series is called Permission to Live. By permission to live, it means that this kingpin is the is like the kingpin of the town. He's the one that gives you permission to live. If you go, um, if you you kind of cross his path, you will die. <laughs> you will die. So permission to live is like if you live by my rules, you will continue to live. And this kingpin has. Uh, bodyguard his name is Pharaoh so interesting character oh he's amazing he's so interesting so this Pharaoh is like that uh, that type of person who has sworn that they'll be by your side forever and ever they even had a pact that if because this kingpin is suffering from Alzheimer's so with the time he will actually start forgetting things and when he starts forgetting things um <laughs> uh, he, uh, he made Pharaoh promise that if he ever forgets his wife and sons and, and kids names he should go ahead and shoot him 
very crazy packed, but they are very good friends. I really like to see their dynamic and how. Oh, I'm holding this. This cute. This cute eraser that I bought. I was actually buying it for my son, but now it's mine. Because it's too cute. I don't know if you can see. So cute. So, Pharaoh promised... Um, What's the name of this kingpin? His name is Noma, Nima, Nemo. Yes, his name is Nemo. He promised Nemo that he, if he ever gets to a point where he, he forgets his wife's name and his kid's name, Pharaoh should go ahead and shoot him. So, <laughs> and because these two these two friends have done so much. You know how dirty drug trafficking is. It involves a lot of killings, a lot of blackmails, a lot of money situations. So they are like buddies, 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 like buddies. Fairy is in the family, like in the family completely. And his loyalty is unmatched. So... That was in the beginning. Pharaoh, uh, no, I've introduced the character Pharaoh and the wife. I don't know the name, the name of the wife. She's not a very interesting character, but she, she's going through the housewife kind of, kind of feeling where <laughs> you feel like no one looks at you. No one cares about you. She's that type of princess. <laughs> she likes all the good things, but nobody wants her breeds literally like she can't she can't help in any situation or they underestimate her so then there's two kids uh two sign uh, two uh, two kids in the family one is nina the girl and the other one is carlos carlos is the gay drug addict very interesting character mm -mm. <laughs> She brings he she he stroke she brings all the drama. Hi, where was I? So, uh, this Mario is the um, is the adopted son to this family, raised since childhood, because his dad was a best friend to to Nemo. So he took him in when he became an orphan. Tell me why this Mario is ever wearing a suit, has, is married, but still cheats on the wife with Nina, the daughter to the, uh, to the kingpin, and convinces his wife to about. He hired a, do a doctor to tell his wife Elisa that she has a heart problem so that he can ab she can abort the kid and so that they can get divorced why divorced because he wants to marry Nina why because he wants to take over the business when the old man dies <sighs> Tell me why this boy decides to make his wife about a kid because he's so self-absorbed, because he's so selfish. And mark you, this Mario is like, he's like the, the brains of the business. He's the brains of, of the Nemo business. Like, but he feels like he's overlooked because when Nemo was intending to leave the company, he was not the first choice as the adopted son, obviously, because he's not blood. But now, he's starting to feel threatened and goes all miles to ensure that um, Nina, who's the daughter now, uh, becomes the dad's favorite even to the point where he's sabotaging Carlos the gay uh, the gay son so dramatic I love that series
I was up last night till 2 a.m. in the morning watching and I have work today. So you can imagine. Look at my eyes. Yeah. It's that interesting. Oh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Let me enjoy it. It's so long since I watched a nice series. It's called Permission to Live on Netflix. Um, I'm in season two. And I'm enjoying it. My book, Atomic Habits, is teaching me how to do one thing a day uh, to ensure that uh, that visions come, that vision that I have comes together at the end of the year. And I'm trying Watching Netflix is not one of them, though. <laughs> it is not one habit that I want to <laughs> to say I'm proud of. But I'm watching and I'm enjoying, so it will be my cheat time. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Ah, uh, what else? Um, I'm committed to being excellent at my work. I realized that I have... I have been slacking a lot when it comes to to my job. Literally, the things that I'm supposed to do on Sunday, a day before I start my week, I have been sleeping on my job. And I can't afford to do that. So I'm checking myself before a big checking comes. <laughs> I was given a, a little check-in yesterday by my, my boss. So I'm telling myself, let me check myself first before I get a big checking. I have been slacking on my tasks and and that's why I'm talking to myself to do better. So this week, I'm really committed to doing the work, to doing my work on time and excellently because that's one thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. I want to be excellent at my job. I don't want to leave loopholes for anything, for doubt, for anything. Anything that would make anyone believe that I'm not worthy to be where I am. I don't want to I, I, I don't want to give anyone a reason to say anything. So I'll stick to the job that I'm supposed to do. I'm an adult. I think I should. Oh anyway. So uh, hey, that was all. Do you have anything that you think I should talk about? Have I checked in on you? Do you feel checked in? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for spending my morning with me. I'm now going to go ahead and get into my work. I have a task that I need to to be done ASAP. And I have a delivery. I'm at work, so... I'm supposed to go with my driver to do a delivery in the next few minutes. It has stopped raining, so it's most ideal for me to do that. And last thing to do would be... I, I didn't get to, to read the pages that I need to have read this morning. But I, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll get a minute and get to it. Tomorrow is a holiday, so though I'll be at work because I need the day after that to go to to go do my maintenance. This is where we are. We are looking terrible. We are looking terrible. My nails have overgrown. I don't know if you can see. So I need to I may don't get me started on my hair because this needs to be covered up. No one is seeing that. So I need a maintenance day on Thursday. And that's why I'll be at work tomorrow during the holiday. And then I take a day off on Thursday to go for my maintenance. Because over the weekend I have an event to attend. So adios muchachos my people. I'll see you in the next one. Or if I get a minute to talk to you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Thought Curator podcast this morning. Bye-bye.